To introduce Mr. Ken Every single week. It kind of was. It kind of was. So, Ghost of Elvis, will you be with us for the rest of the evening? Maybe. Oh, good. He can't really tell a coherent joke that way. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. So, how are we doing now? I always feel like at this point you've all been sworn in, like you've taken some sort of creepy oath. Something, something awkward cult. <laughs> the pants cult. New people, you'll notice at this point I basically stop talking and let them run out of steam before I continue. We edit that in post, no one knows the difference. It's not true. It's gonna look just like this on YouTube and we're really sorry. Not even a little bit. Guys, I'm so glad to be here because I had oh, the worst weekend. Well, okay, it's a, it was a mixed victory, we'll say. Uh, as many of you know, we have been working on a busking program with the city of Dallas. <laughs> busking, for those of you who just said, what is when performers go out in the street, take off their hat and say, we're awesome, throw money in here and we'll go away. Or not. Or not, depending on how you feel about it. So... There we were in the streets of Dallas as the weather turned, shall we say, below 40. I was passing clubs with my passing partner, Alan, which if we were throwing knives that day would have been pretty awesome because I bent the bullet and his name was almost Remember Alan. <laughs> Didn't go well. At this point, we were, we were starting to think scrub. We were thinking that this isn't working, this isn't happening. I feel really, really bad that we even came out here, that we had seven performers come with us yeah it was yeah, we were we were there in force it was us yeah it was like that yeah <laughs> and at this point one guy walked up and he said like he did this and you know when your audience says wait here you're kind of committed to whatever the hell's gonna happen next because <laughs> right now if it was <laughs> quiet and at that moment, somebody, one person was here and went, just wait, what are you gonna do? You can't wander, they run off you like, quick, we can get out of here. <laughs> no, that's not gonna fly. So we're, we're there and we're waiting, which was kind of an awkward moment because we're all like costumed up, we've got our props in our hands, there's nobody here, so we're kind of like this. He'll be back, don't worry. Any second now, it'll be good. So there we were, and he comes back with his entire family who were staying in the hotel nearby. You see, and this is a really good pro tip I didn't think about. We're in the city of downtown Dallas where there are buildings and they were watching us out the window. So now we have an audience of nine. So it is now 38 degrees. We all look at it and say, there's seven of us, nine of you, we've got equal teams, let's do this thing. And we throw a show right then and there for just them. In the freaking cold, we do the best we can. And at some point we end up with 10. And 10 is this guy who's kind of standing off in the corner like this. <laughs> All right, well, I, I'm not telling you about 11 and 12. 11 and 12 are like the weird homeless guys that were just like wandering around. And it's, it's part of the street process. You just deal with it. And you, sometimes they scream really funny stuff and I bring it back here and use it. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> so at this point, we're up there. There's the 10th guy. There's the family. And the family leaves, leaving us with the one guy who it turns out is with KERA and interviews us. So that happened. So we've been out there for now 45 minutes. The temperature is approaching freezing. We're seeing the storm front come in. Now, you may be wondering why we stuck it out other than the fact that we said we would do it. There was one other story I have that I have to share before we get the show on the road. If you are a performer, a, a, an up and coming performer, if you have ever thought about performing, this is, you know, you hear about those moments that will change your life. This is kind of one of those. And it was a really big deal to me. I have to make a confession, I'm a children's entertainer that doesn't really like children, which is why I'm here with all of you. And as I'm loading in to do this thing in the freaking cold where I've noticed that my nipples are harder than they've ever been. I mean, wow, hard, harder than they are now and they're pretty stiff. But at this point, I'm about to die of hypothermia and I hear a shrieking child across the street from us. And I'm like, oh God, it's gonna be one of those days. Just shrieking, I look over and there's pointing going on and shrieking and okay, I look like this all the time, you should understand. 
which is to say that pointing and shrieking is not a turn on. Doesn't work, it really doesn't work for me. But I start listening as the traffic gets out of the way and the little kid's going, they're back. So I thought the kid was screaming, ack, and it was they're back. And next thing it was, the circus freaks. And she drags her mother across the street and sits down in front of us. At this point, she's the first person who's come out to see us. All seven of us are lining up, getting warm. We're not even warmed up yet. We haven't even put our crates down yet. And there's a little kid standing there wearing our button who had come out to the first busking day, world busking day, two months prior. And apparently had been dragging her mother out each and every month to come see us. This, this entire show, anything, and pretty much anything I do from here on out is going to be dedicated to any fan who is at that level where they come out in the freezing cold wearing their button in hopes that we might show up. Yeah, we're, we're going to be there for you. And also we are absolutely extending through, unless it's just pouring down rain like it was 45 minutes later. We will be there every single month at Pegasus Plaza and we're actually working with the city to bring busking and performance to other parks throughout Dallas. So... It's happening, folks. So I had to share that because it was the weirdest experience of my life. And then we left because we were dying. When you have a clown in their blue and they had actually put on whiteface at the start of the show, that's a sign it's time to go. Yeah, so nobody died. We had fans and apparently KERA will be airing a story about us and the busking movement in Dallas very soon. So that's your report to the minute. How about we get some performers up on this stage? Yeah.